Welcome back to Introduction to Programming using C++. My name is Alex Louie. I'll be your host tonight. It's going to be a short video. I'm going to talk about set precision, precision of floating point numbers. First thing to look at is our header file. We're going to include, it's called uh, iomanip.h. This allows us to use the manipulators that are included in C++. Next thing I want to point you to is actually give you a little bit of a default behavior that you have seen perhaps previously when you've been doing equations and operations, mathematical operations, specifically with division. In this particular equation, I have number one, which has a decent amount of numbers after the decimal point, and number two, which has hmm, two, two, two numbers after the decimal point. So if I divide these together, I'm going to store the result in quotient. The result is going to have five numbers after the decimal point. The default precision in this particular compiler is going to be six, which means that it's going to keep six digits of the result, keeping always all the numbers to the left of the decimal point. If I keep all the numbers to the left, I'm going to keep four plus whatever remains which is going to be 5 which makes 6 5 plus 1 is 6 so the default even if your even if your result was larger so this particular this particular result could potentially have been larger perhaps there's more sevens to the end it's going to cut them off it's actually going to do a round and then cut them off because it it defaults to 6 uh, floating uh, 6 precision of 6 so again it's going to keep all the digits to the left of the decimal point and then and then if we take if we're going to do 6 6 minus 1 which is one digit is going to be 5 so the remaining five digits are going to be to the right of the decimal point now there may be times that we may want to manipulate the precision of output so maybe we want to cut it down to a smaller number especially when you're dealing with money so let's take a look at the set precision manipulator. The syntax for this is you need to put a set precision. It's 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 a function which is binded to a operand here, which is the the insertion operator. Okay, because this is an insertion operator which inserts output to the console. And this particular one is binded to this one, and then this particular insertion operator is binded to the end line. So in this particular case, what I'm saying is I'm going to cut my precision to five, meaning a total of five digits, including the whole number after uh, to the left of the decimal point. Again, we're never going to cut off any digits to the left. What's going to happen is it's actually going to see if if there is going to be a cut, it's going to do a round. And then after it rounds, it'll cut the, the rightmost digit, depending on how many digits we're going to be cutting. As you saw before, the default was 6. So in this particular one, we're going to get 5. And you're going to see the difference once I run this. So if I compile and run, you're going to see that it actually rounded up. So 9188. And now I have a total of 5 digits in my result. Okay. So in this particular output example we're gonna have all our digits to the left which is one and then the remaining four is gonna make the five which we have here okay again all the digits to the left are always gonna be kept it's the digits to the right that are gonna be cut and perhaps uh, it's going to actually may round the number up. So if we do a 4, okay, a precision of 4, and I'm going to run this. So in this precision of 4, again, now I have 4 digits. I always keep the leftmost, and the remaining ones of that 4 is going to be 3. Again, this rounded because of the 8. So now I have one digit to the left and three digits to the right of the decimal point, 
which is going to make up 4. Now, as we get smaller, again, can you guess what will happen if I do set precision of 3? I'll give you a couple of seconds. So if we do a set precision of 3, we should actually get, we still keep the 4, we do point, and then it should be 9, 2. So let's take a look at that. So we execute, compile, and run. And you see that here. Why? Because we keep the all the digits to the left, which is really 1. So that's 4 point, and then we're going to cut one off because we only have two digits left and again it's going to do a round so 4.92 that's three digits so that's a precision of three if we do a precision of two then how many digits are you going to have in total you're really going to have two digits and they're going to be spread out among the left the digits to the left of the decimal point and digits to the right so if I execute this again, it's going to have a 4.9. So you have a total of two digits of precision, uh, precision 2. Now, if we do a precision of 1, like I said, it's going to eliminate the numbers to the right because we always keep the whole number. So if I do compile and run, you're just going to get a 5 and notice how it rounded up because 4.9 uh, it'll give you a, a roundup of 5 okay so the digits here that are passed in as a parameter are you can think of it as the number of digits that you're gonna see on the screen so if I do a 5 it's gonna give me 5 digits and it's gonna spread them out accordingly uh, related to the numbers to the left of the decimal point and numbers to the right. Remember, numbers to the left are the topmost priority, so we're never going to cut numbers to the left. We're always really cutting numbers to the right of the decimal point. Let me show you another example. Okay, so some of you may asking, what if the precision that we set is more than the number of digits in our actual value. So, and what I mean by that is if you have 24.51 precision here is 4, correct? So what we're trying to do is set the precision to 5. What compiler does is actually it ignores it. So if it sees that your length is going to be 4 and you're trying to do a precision that's larger than the actual length of the value of the variable or length of a value of a constant value it's just going to ignore it and print out the actual dollars value so let me show you so in this particular case uh, the precision is going to be by default the actual length of the numbers that are for dollars and even though I try to change it to 5 so I was expecting to get a 0 to the right it doesn't it ignores it because you can't set a precision that's larger than the actual length of the value of your variable so even by default by default the precision is 6 it ignores it because it knows that it's going to be a uh, it's going to have four digits of precision uh, as we said here okay let me show you another more a couple of examples here so if I do it on a constant a literal okay so if I set precision of 3, then I should get 28.9, right? Because, again, we're going to keep all our left digits, and that's going to make two digits. And then we're going to see how many we have, we have remaining. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So one digit remaining to the right is going to be 
9. This precision is larger than the actual length of this literal value, so we actually have a precision of 2. Because this is larger than that, it just gonna, it's just going to ignore it and make it 21. And just print out 21. If I have a precision of 4, then it's going to keep it as is. So this equal kind of equals that. So 109.5, that's precision of 4, 3 digits to the left, 1 digit to the right. And this one, if I set the precision of 2, that means that I'm actually just going to keep the leftmost, the leftmost uh, digits. So if I compile this together, okay. So if you see here, I have a 28.9, which is the precision getting the leftmost digits and then the rightmost, which is only one remaining, right? Because yeah, I'm going to have a total of three. Then you have 21, which keeps it as is because the precision is actually larger than the actual literal values length, digit length, so it ignores it. Here we keep it the same, precision is four, so it's just going to take the leftmost and the rightmost, and then the precision on the last one is two, so we take all the all the digits to the left, which is three, four, which is two, and then we have nothing remaining, so we have no decimal. Now there's a question you probably guys you guys are probably wondering is what if I set the precision to less than the number of digits to the left? So in this particular case, we know that we're gonna get back thirty-four. What if I set the precision to 1? What do you think you're going to get? Well, C++ uses different types of notations when dealing with floating point numbers. One particular notation that it does use is called E notation. So E notation is going to actually, it's going to actually cut this number uh, on the left ball. So it's, it'll include the 3. Okay. But because we have one digit remaining, it's going to it's going to output it as using e notation. So what you're going to get is one times one e to to the first power. So e to the first power means you're going to multiply uh, ten times one, uh, and then multiply that by three. So if I run this, so that we have here, there's three e plus zero zero one so this is called e notation so it's it is cutting it it's cutting the digit uh, to the left right but it's going to convert it into e notation uh, so, but you, you're not going to have the precise output here because it, it's not going to give you 34 it's, it's just saying that you're going to have e which is base 10 10 to the first power is 10 uh, and then you, and if you know, if you remember your math classes, when you have E notation, it's really three times ten to the first, which is going to give you thirty, right? So uh, C plus plus is going to convert this into E notation. So if if I do the same thing for one all nine, and, and I convert the precision to one, then again it's going to convert it to E notation. But in this particular case, because there's two decimal places here that we're actually cutting. Uh, it's going to be e plus zero zero two. So let me try and do that. So if I do this to one, all right, and then compile and run, then you're going to have e notation again, uh, one e to the power of two, which is really one times ten squared. So ten times ten is a hundred, and uh, one times a hundred is a hundred. Okay, so it'll set the precision. It's gonna it's gonna convert it to E notation when it is less than the number of digits uh, for the whole number. So you were probably wondering that that that's what happens um, when you use a precision that is less than the actual whole number. Okay, uh, so. Let me just review a couple of points. 
So a couple of points here. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is that the set precision is known in it as a sticky manipulator. What it means is that you need to keep setting it if you want to change the actual precision. For example, if I set this to 3 uh, and I didn't have any of these set, then this whole, all these C out statements precision would stay 3 because it sticks. So once you set it, it'll stick. If I ever want to reset it, I would either I can set it to 6 or I can set it to 0. So again, it, this is known as a sticky manipulator. So if I set it to, for example, to 4, it's not going to change until I actually tell it to change using the set precision command. That's why I have to call it at every line. So if I kept this at 3, right, um, that's a good example here. So let me do this. You're going to notice that as I run through these, okay, so I set precision to 3. It's going to make, make the precision for this particular number to 3. And it will remain at 3 even for this one, this one, this one, and this one. So if I compile and run, so you see that. So precision of 3, this one it ignores because the precision is larger. Then you have 110 because it rounded up. Uh, and then here you have 3 and 3. So again, it's, this, is, this is a very important point that I wanted to mention is that it's a sticky manipulator. It'll stick. If you set it once, it's going to stick. If you want to reset it, then you got to call it again with its uh, insertion operator so that you can tell the output object that's, hey, I'm going to change the precision again to this. Okay. Okay. So that is the end of this lesson. Thank you for listening. And again, if you have any questions, you can always contact me through my YouTube channel or through the comments. Thanks.